Hi, welcome to the Entertainment Monster. Today we're talking about The Mummy starring Tom Cruise. This movie sets up the dark universe for Universal Studios, uh, Swamp Thing, Frankenstein, The Invisible Man, The Wolf Man, Dracula, The Mummy, obviously, and Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. There's so many different characters, but this movie, and, and before I get started, this is the spoiler review. This is a complete spoiler review, so if if you haven't seen the movie, you don't want to know anything about what happens in this movie, then please uh, watch this after you, you've you seen the movie. Or if you just you don't plan on seeing the movie and you, can, uh, you want to hear all about it, then continue watching. So, this is the complete spoiler review. Tom Cruise, he's a dealer. He likes to look for ancient artifacts and sell them to big-time dealers. That's how he makes his money. He's a, a sergeant, and he's part of the military so that's what he does he goes out and he finds these artifacts and sells them they happen to uncover the mummy uh, who's been buried uh, under this you know burial ground that's been there for thousands of years what 5,000 years I believe because she was cursed she killed her father she killed her lover she was trying to gain power and that's what she wanted that's what she was hunger hungering for so she was buried uh, in a tomb uh, under mercury and that's where they kept her all this time so that he pulled her, he, he rescued her with un, unwittingly saved her from her prison so she chose him to be her sacrifice that way she can put the demon inside of him and, and he can she can rule with him that's what her plan is and obviously you know he's he's just more more of a thief uh, He's not really too much of a bad guy. He's he, he's a good guy. He finds this. They. And we've all seen the entire trailer from what happens on the plane. You know how the birds go into the plane and they destroy the plane. It goes down. He thinks everybody thinks he's dead, but then he he's alive because he's pretty much been cursed now since he unlocked the mummy from her tomb. The issue is that there's nothing scary about this movie. And back in the old you know the old black and white films those mummy movies were scary especially to the audience that they were shown to that they were scary nowadays those movies aren't really that scary the last mummy movie starring Brendan Fraser the mummy the mummy returns the Emperor's tomb those movies were not scary they're more fun and cheesy campy uh, and there is a reference to the to the Brendan Fraser movies in this movie when they're uh, I think he's they're fighting with Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde or you know whatever Mr. Hyde I guess that's the the alternate character the bad guy villain so there is a reference when they pick up the book so I'm wondering if those movies still exist in this universe I'm not too sure it doesn't really go into detail or maybe it's just an Easter egg that they popped in there so that was kind of interesting to look at but other than that my issue with it is that it's not scary it's an okay movie but they spend a lot of time really just trying to set up this universe and trying to show you the Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde character and that there's other monsters out there and that's fine but you start making it kind of like a like an Avengers thing where you look at Russell Crowe's character as sort of the Nick Fury character who's gonna put this league together of monsters which is kind of goofy in a way and I know obviously he's not like Nick Fury because he has an issue with turning into the evil Hyde character so they finally capture the mummy after you know fighting with her and she's controlling Tom Cruise's character. They finally capture her and they take her to Dr. Jekyll and Hyde's uh, laboratory where she's being held with mercury and they're gonna kill her and dissect her, that's what the plan is. Then she escapes with mind control because she's controlling the animals and she's controlling the, the other mummies and zombies or whatever it may be. That part was a little kind of out there, kind of goofy. Some of it didn't make sense. Then they finally look for, they're looking for this ruby that goes into the dagger that can kill her. Well, not kill her, but if she doesn't have the ruby on the dagger, she can't use it to sacrifice Tom Cruise's character to the way he can be possessed. So that part, fine, whatever, that's the story. It's not that scary. There's a, another part where Val, Tom Cruise's friend, he, he gets killed right in the beginning of the movie. But he's throughout the movie uh, appearing in front of Tom Cruise's character as a ghost. And that was a little interesting. It reminded me a little bit of American Werewolf was in Paris or London, that old 80s movie where the dead friend keeps on popping up and telling him 
uh, what not to do and where, where to go, but he, instead he's leading him to the mummy the way he can be sacrificed. So he's kind of in there as comic relief. It's a little funny, um, interesting, uh, very different from some of the most previous monster movies like the Dracula Untold. Uh, that was pretty bad. So I didn't hate this movie. I didn't think it was scary. I thought it was just okay, but there's too much set up to another dark universe. That was the issue. So they finally capture the mummy. She escapes. She uh, gets the ruby. Uh, Tom Cruise's character finally sacrifices himself. That way he can gain power and destroy her. And he sucks the life out of her and she becomes a mummy again. And that's pretty much where they leave it. There's no post credit scenes. There's just talk about other monsters that may be out there and that uh, Russell Crowe's character has been looking for some of these characters. And Tom Cruise brings back his friend Val. He brings him back to life so he's not a ghost anymore. So they don't explain that, how that happens, but or they don't show how it happens. For them. But it, it happens, it's kind of goofy. But that's the story. So I didn't hate the movie. I didn't think it's that great. <clears throat> I kind of like the other Brendan Fraser movies a little better, even though they're cheesy and kind of campy, but hey, um, <clears throat> I'll, I'll still watch those. This new Mummy installment I'll probably never watch again because it was just okay. It wasn't horrible, it was just okay. <clears throat> but way better than the Dracula, Dracula Untold movie that came out a few years ago. So anyway, that's my thoughts. Let me know what you thought. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.